Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2018. We are here with this problem 14 of your paper. This problem 14 is a problem of analysis. So let us firstly have a look. Let an is equal to, so we have this sequence an and a sequence cn which is defined on base of an where n is a whole number, then which one of the following is true? So what you have to do in these options, you have to check whether your series is convergent or not. All right, series corresponding to an and series corresponding to cn. So what we have, we have two sequences. So what we have to check, we have to check the corresponding series, whether they are convergent or not. So let us begin with this first sequence that is given to us. It is a n is equal to minus 1 to the power n over under root of 1 plus n. All right, we have this. Now see, when n is even, this is positive. When n is odd, this is negative. That means this is an alternating sequence. So a n is an alternating sequence. So therefore, the corresponding series of a n will be called will be called alternating series you got my point so now the, the, the basic test that you use in order to check whether a series is convergent or not all holds for the positive term series so the only thing that the, the only test that deals with the alternating series is known as Leibniz test. Are you getting my point? So we have only one tool in our hand and that is called Leibniz test. So using Leibniz test, we are going to check whether this alternating series summation a n is convergent or not. So what is Leibniz test? I will I will firstly explain that. So what Leibniz says that if you have a n, okay, this a n sequence is monotonically decreasing. If this a n is monotonically decreasing and limit n goes to infinity, a n is zero. If these two things happen, then what we will have, we will have summation a n minus one to the power n, a convergent series. This is what Leibniz says that if we have a n a monotonically decreasing sequence with limit n goes to infinity a n is equal to zero then this series will converge. So in your case what is your a n? In our case our a n is just this 1 over 1 plus n. All right now see if this n increases then this denominator will also increase. So if denominator is increasing so the whole whole uh, whole uh, whole number will decrease. That means a n is a decreasing sequence. It's monotonically decreasing. Now just evaluate its limit. So limit n goes to infinity, one over one plus n. What it is? It's one over one over infinity because infinity plus one is itself infinity. And if you will take a root of infinity, you will again get infinity. So finally, what you are getting zero. Now you know that a n is a monotonically decreasing sequence with limit 0. So by Leibniz test, you can say that summation a n is a convergent series. Are you getting my point? So, so finally, what we have proved, we proved that summation minus 1 to the power n by root of 1 plus n converges. This is what we have proved. Now what we have to check, we have to check the convergence of the sequence Cn. So firstly, we will try to see what is your sequence Cn. All right, then we will go come into that uh, action that whether it is convergent or not, series is convergent or not. So Cn is actually given by summation k is equal to 0 to n a n minus k 
of a k. Now, what is a n minus k? According to the definition of a n, what will be a n minus k? It will be minus 1 to the power n minus k over under root of 1 plus n minus k. Got my point? So, what is a k? It will be minus 1 to the power k over under root of 1 plus k. Are you getting my point? So, finally, what we got? We got c n like this. c n is minus 1 to the power n by under root of 1 plus n minus k. Now, where k is moving from 0 to n. Now, if you will consider the series of this, then what will happen? You have to check whether this series, okay, whether this series, what series? This k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 to the power. Okay, I missed this, all right? So, what we have? We have this 1 plus n minus k into 1 plus k where k, uh, sorry, where n, n is from 0 to infinity. So, you have to check whether this series is convergent or not. Are you getting my point? So, now try to think over it that will it converge or, uh, or will it not. Now, see this term minus 1 to the power n it is actually not dependent upon this summation, this summation, All right? It's dependent upon this summation. That means you can actually interchange. It means that you can take this minus 1 to the power n outside of the summation because your summation is not working on that. So, therefore, you are getting this. Uh, I should write 1 minus k and then you have 1 plus k. Now, see this thing that if we have this term 1 over under root of n plus 1 minus k. Suppose we have this term. Now, what you are doing, you are subtracting it from, okay, so you are subtracting k. k is a number between 0 to n. All right. k is a number between 0 to n. You are subtracting k from n plus 1. That means this number is actually smaller. So, the resultant quantity will be bigger than 1 over under root of n plus 1. Are you getting my point or not? This denominator is small, therefore this number is bigger. So, you got this inequality. Now, what can I do? I can just multiply this uh, root of 1 plus k both sides. Okay, it's a positive number, non-zero number, so I, I can do that. So, I'm just multiplying it both sides. Uh, what it is? It's 1 plus k. Now, see, this k is actually between 0 to n. So, if you will increase, sorry, if you will uh, replace this k with n, let us say I am writing n in place of k, then what will happen? This number which is in the denominator will actually uh, will, will be bigger. So, if it is bigger, then the whole term will be smaller. Because of this inequality, less than inequality on this side, I can do that. Are you getting my point or not? What I am doing, I am just replacing it with 1 plus n because it will not affect your inequality. You don't have equal to here. That's why I can do that. So, finally, I proved that this quantity is a small is bigger than this quantity. Which quantity? I should write properly. This quantity 1 over 1 plus n. All right. Now, I will introduce necessary condition for series convergence. What do you know about necessary condition that I should write it here? It's a necessary condition for series convergence. It says that if summation un is convergent, then this will imply un should go to 0. Now you have this. All right. What you can do? You can apply uh, summation on both sides. 
all right do you have problem on that no we don't have problem everything is positive so we can do that all right this summation is running over k are you getting my point so you will get this so you see that uh, you see this thing that this this sequence of partial sum is bigger than okay i should also write sequence of partial sum of this all right sequence of partial sum of this is bigger than sequence of partial sum of this that means according to uh, according to what according uh, according to the uh, what i should say i should say comparison test uh, okay let me just separate everything because we don't have series we can do it directly let me erase a little bit part for you so see this sequence sn so we have considered this as your sn sequence so when n goes to infinity what is happening sn goes to what summation 0 to infinity 1 over 1 plus n now you know that this series is divergent okay it's actually a p series you can consider this as as a p series okay it's very easy to prove that why it's divergent i i i leave this on you you know that this is divergent that means sn is not going to zero are you getting my point if we consider sn like this then as n goes to infinity it goes to this series now you know that this series is divergent therefore you can say that sn is not going to zero now since this sequence is bigger than this sequence and it is not going to zero therefore you can say that this sequence is also not going to zero are you getting my point so what we have now that this sequence 1 plus k under root of n plus 1 minus k 0 to n is not going to zero now since this thing is not going to zero therefore you can say that this whole is not going to zero so this is your un all right so now use necessary condition for series convergence this is your un let us say that this series converges then what should happen un should go to zero but un is not going to zero because this is not going to zero all right it will oscillate therefore finally we have proved that your series summation cn is also is not also is divergent so it's not convergent from here we can say although we cannot say it's divergent we can say that it's not convergent so that means now we can mark your options c summation an is convergent but summation cn is not convergent that means b is correct and all other remaining options are false so this is how we can solve your question all right so thank you